Keeping in the theme of state of the industry, I think one of the things we just spoke about was it can feel a little bit like a mayhem at times, uh, specifically a little bit like a metaverse mayhem. And that actually gives me the perfect opportunity to introduce our next speaker, who is the futurist, of futurist digital solutions from the Swedish Metaverse Center. So please give a big round of applause to Linda U. Johansson. I'm so happy to be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the wrong PowerPoint here. <laughs> but so my name is Linda U. Johansson, and I talk funny. I'm from Gothenburg. So, uh, and we talk funny in Gothenburg. We have different sayings. Uh, this is one of the sayings. Is it someone, uh, raise the ha uh, your hand if you're from Gothenburg. Oh, good, nice. Uh, and do you know what it says? Floor day, floor day. And what does it mean? Move, Move. yes. You need to move yourself, and a little, it, it's a little bit rude, actually. So if someone says this to you, then you, no, don't listen. And, uh, but it's like this. I have five daughters. Five daughters. Teenagers, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, feel sorry for me, yeah. And, and one of them said to me, Mom, you are talking about the future. And when you talk about the future, you have to move. You have to move yourself. You cannot stand still when talking about uh, the future. So in honor for that daughter, I always have this t-shirt because we need to flirt us, okay? And in this talk, I hope I can get you to flirt you as well. But uh, before talking about the future, I want to talk about the history. 1997, I'm old. 1997, I was working with virtual reality. I had these huge headsets. Uh, and lots of cords and connected gloves. And me and my colleagues, we dreamed about living in a virtual world, educating ourselves, playing and uh, dancing and dating. No, no, maybe not dating, but uh, yeah, you see. But 1997, when internet looked like this, <laughs> no. So, no, everything crashed by then. So, I continued working with uh, e-commerce. So, I've been working in the IT industry for around 25 years, working with e-commerce, setting up the Volvo cars, e-commerce, uh, Lincoln Co. Digital Channels, uh, being the CEO at a company at Knowit, and working at Maverick, at Nexer, and a lot of things. So a lot with digital, until two years ago, when I quit my job and started my own company. Because I wanted to talk about the future. So I started Swedish Metaverse Center, and now I'm out talking about the future and inspiring entrepreneurs. And it's so fun, it's so fun. And I wrote this book, Metaverse Mayhem, uh, and I talk about the technology in a very easy way. Because, you know, the IT industry, we always talk in a very complex way, and I'm so tired about that. So I did this in a really easy way, because I think it's more interesting to explain thing, things in a more easy way. So, and I talk about the good things and the bad things. 
Uh, and I talk about the metaverse, uh, but you need to, we need to explain what the metaverse is, because no one really knows what it is. So I want to explain to you what this is today. Metaverse is when the internet becomes embodied. It's when the digital things are immersed with the physical things. It's when they come together. It's almost the same word as internet. You know, how many internets are there? One, of course. It's a tricky question. Of course, it's one. Internet, it's not a thing. It's not a place. It, it's just the connected computers, right? The metaverse is the same. It's not a thing. It's not a place. It's connected digital experiences. But there is a misunderstanding in all of this regarding the metaverse. I'm out, out talking on stages, and now I have to tell it's all, almost uh, all women here. But I have to tell you, every time I go on stage, there's a man coming up to me. It, it's always a man. And he's telling me, I know all about the metaverse. I do, I do. And uh, I know that it's Facebook who's uh, built the metaverse. <laughs> every time, every time, every time. No. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg did not build the metaverse. He built a virtual world called Horizon, where you ran, uh, ran around without legs. It was crappy, and we didn't need it. And he changed his name to Meta. Therefore, everyone thinks that Facebook built something called the Metaverse, but no. So now we are here. I want to ask you, uh, did Facebook build Metaverse? No. no? Oh, you, yeah. I know it. Yeah, you're much brighter. <laughs> Good, thank you. Uh, and then we have Apple. Apple did something amazing. They have now introduced uh, Vision Pro. I think every one of you ha uh, knows about this. Uh, it's a really good AR uh, uh, glasses. And it's, it's good for real, but it's really expensive. And, and it's not for us. It's not. It's not for consumers. It's for companies. They want to investigate it and, and build, build apps on it. And you know, Apple, they want to do things in their own way, you know? Yeah. So they changed the name to Spatial Computing. So now Metaverse is out. It's out. The name Metaverse is gone. It is. Everyone is now talking about Spatial Computing. I'm releasing my book in English. I have to change it to Spatial Computing <laughs> instead. It's like that. But Spatial Computing is Metaverse Technologies plus AI. And I want to uh, explain a little bit more what it is. So here are the ingredients. Virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, uh, AI, digital twins, and internet of things. So what is it? Virtual reality, I think you know. It's, it's a, a VR headsets where you are in an emerged environment. Uh, uh, companies can build up uh, digital experience, uh, and you can walk around, and, and uh, you can uh, experience things in different ways. Uh, company uses this for training. I, I have a lot of connection with uh, Volvo and with Ericsson. They are using this all the time for training. Virtual reality is not the thing for our, uh, us consumers, no. It's only for companies and uh, training, because we don't want this headset. Do you want that? Yes, good. One, one person. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really good for training. It is. But 
consumers, the big thing with metaverse and spatial computing will be augmented reality. I think, ha, uh, raise your hands if you have played Pokemon Go. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Go is, re is augmented reality. You see digital things in your real environment. This is what we want. Uh, Apple is using that for their Vision Pro, but their headset looks like a ski mask. And we don't want that, no. We, as consumers, will adapt uh, augmented reality for real when we have real glasses. Good, real glasses that can, can show us digital things in our own environment. For real. We will uh, see augmented things. Like Terminator. We will, uh, uh, of course, experience things in our real environment. Clothes will be a big thing. My husband has this favorite app. It doesn't exist yet, but please tell me if you can find someone, something like that. It is an app uh, where you put down all the groceries uh, that you would like, and then you go to the store, and then you just move around according to uh, uh, the dots. He would love that. <laughs> because navigation will be a big thing with aug augmented reality. Big thing. And, but sometimes it can be a little bit uh, cartoonish. And uh, I don't talk about that. When I mean augmented reality, I mean this. Yeah? When it comes to this, then we all will want to use this. This will change everything. For example, e-commerce. Spatial computing is also the thing that we have been talking for uh, 20 years, Internet of Things. It's when 6G, uh, 6G is uh, coming uh, and everything is connected. Uh, spatial computing is part of that as well. For example, now we can see Rabbit. Rabbit is, is an uh, AI uh, robot, you can say. Uh, it's, you can, uh, it's connected and you can use it uh, as your uh, virtual uh, friend. Uh, humane AI pin is something else. It's a pin where you have that is attached and uh, it's uh, filming everything. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, spatial computing is also digital twins. A lot of digital twins. You will, you will have your own digital twin. And it will look exactly like you. And you will test all your clothes on that digital twin. And it will move. It will dance and you will see the clothes how, how I, with your favorite moves. <laughs> digital twins will be the big thing. You will have digital... Uh, assets and, and you will have your house in, in a, as a digital twins and companies will work a lot with digital twins. This will be huge. I have now shown you some things. Some things that I've written in my book. In my book I have loads of examples from companies who's doing this today. This seems a little bit like the future, but it's here now. But it takes a little while until we as consumer adapt this. But I have to say, we need to flow us because this is coming. Thank you. Thank 
you so much. And thank you for teaching us that we all need to fleur us. Good. Yeah? Good. Is that good? Fleur us. I just yeah. need to get the Gothenburg accent. Yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. quite got that yet. Yeah. But thank you very much. And Linda's book is in the merch shop. Yes. Um, and I think you'll be popping up there uh, when we start the mingle. Yes. So people can get some signed copies if you like. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you, you very much, Linda. Thank you.